Some areas are getting a good downpour right now, especially on the west side of the Denver area, Lakewood, Jefferson County, and that's going to continue for the next couple of hours. Up to an inch of rain, some small hail expected. Other places won't see much. I'll show you right now in just a moment. But you see that heavy rain off into the distance. This is looking down toward the southwest from Civic Center Park. 67 the high, 49 the low. The averages are 72 and 44. And currently with thunderstorms in the area, we're down to 58 downtown. Still 64 at the airport. The barometer's rising. Winds are out of the southeast at 18. And this is what radar looks like on the west side. Jefferson County really getting the brunt of this, but also some areas around Roxborough State Park getting a pretty good dose of uh, rain, snow up parts of northern Park County and up into Gilpin and Clear Creek County at the present time, mostly above 10,000 feet. Also see that up toward Estes Park, Rocky Mountain National Park and across the state. Some heavier thunderstorm activity down toward Colorado Springs. So mainly it's right along and to the west of I-25 and these storms are tracking almost due north at the moment. So if you see dark skies to the south of you, that storm is coming your way. Severe thunderstorm watch down over southeastern Colorado. So here's the map tonight. This will wrap up pretty quick during the next six hours or so. The storms will be ending by the time we get to midnight. By morning, a few showers on the plains, a little rain and snow down over the central mountains and the eastern San Juans, which is good news there because they've missed a lot of the moisture from the recent storm. So they'll be glad to see it around the Salida area up toward Buena Vista. Mostly cloudy over the rest of the state. 45 by morning in Denver, 50 out at Burlington, 51 at Ray, 51 also out west at Grand Junction. Front range numbers will be mid to upper 30s in the mountains and mid to upper 40s on the plains. A few light showers early, mostly cloudy in the morning. By midday, we'll see more of those showers develop and tomorrow is going to be a lot like today. Some strong storms possible over southeast Colorado, scattered storms elsewhere. After that, conditions start to dry out a little bit. Highs tomorrow be mid 60s across most of eastern Colorado. Warmer out to the west with temperatures expected to be in the upper 70s. So here's our forecast for tonight. It's going to be uh, scattered storms, mostly cloudy and 45. For tomorrow, the high temperature is going to be at 65 degrees with the storms likely again as we get into the afternoon hours. And let's show you what's happening on the seven day forecast. It's going to start to warm up and dry out a little bit heading into the seven day. 63 Tuesday, 72 Wednesday, 80 on Thursday. Friday, just a few storms possible, and then back to a few more storms as we get into Sunday, especially. So it will warm up a little bit, and man, things sure are green out there.